Hello, hello, my beautifuls. It is another amazing day, and we are very lucky. It is the full moon rising right now as we speak, and there's, yes, there's peak moments of when the moon is rising, and we experience that in different ways depending on where we are on the planet, right? And at the same time, there is the moment when the moon is rising over the horizon where you are. I find these moments very impactful. And for myself, it's generally a three-day celebration, a three-day focus. And really notice, <laughs> yay, Capricorn moon. Really notice, like, when the moment the moon started rising, boy, did my mental shift. You know, where my brain started going do 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 and organizing and seeing details and seeing what I needed to do, yeah? Ah, so let's appreciate that part of us. Let's appreciate that part of us. Right? So let's appreciate the part of us that thinks, that organizes. And let's also enjoy the context of safety and relaxation around it, right? It's a beautiful fucking life. You know, it's amazing to me because, again, this process this last year has been a constant unfolding of surprises and miracles, right? I am just so glad to be here. And it's been a constant unfolding of surprises and miracles that are awesome sauciness. And, um, and that each stage of strange angels, right? Unexpected gifts, unexpected powerful direction and positivity. Yeah. It's like, you know, some of the most challenging experiences that I've had have propelled me into states of intense health and awareness, into new states of being and understanding, into new appreciations of positivity and amazing. Right? Everything is good. Everything is possible. Yeah. And so, you know, in so many ways, like, life knows better than me how and why and things are what they are and what the unfolding is. And it's so important to celebrate and enjoy the context of, like, the unfolding of what life is bringing, you know? It's like, and trust, trusting that context. And I understand there's a lot of context of struggle and conflict in this world. And a lot of different things that can be viewed as conflict in our personal experiences. How do we hold and embrace that paradox, which is exactly that, which is facing in, leaning in to the solutions and addressing the issues that are around us in the world at this exact moment, and holding space for powerful positivity. You know, falling back on old stories. This we're, We've been touching on a lot of these themes over these videos over the last year. And falling back on old stories and hearing old stories fly out of my own mouth has been really interesting recently. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunity. And there was a difference in this experience in that, like, that an awareness I guess it's the it's that observer effect moment you know having the awareness of hearing the old story as it's coming out of my mouth and being like well I'm not sure I'm interested in that anymore you know 
So that is progress. And in the process of observation, the shift itself happens. And maybe this is something we can contextualize and broaden, take it from the microcosm to the macrocosm and observe that, observe that we're observing and observing the world. Maybe that is one of the aspects of the simultaneous truth from the paradox of this experience is that being able to sit in observation and allow the unfolding to progress in ways that you do not expect, you do not project, and you do not control. Trusting that there really is a shift here, that there really is a process, that we are larger than our perceptions, and we are larger than the, even the context of we are larger than we have the ratios to understand. I've heard this beautiful progression over like the last 20 years, whereas like 20 years ago, the discussion was, oh, we only see, you know, 1% of reality. And now it's like, oh, we only see, you know, 0.001% of reality or whatever. And this progression is so beautiful and I think is a natural progression in many ways. Um, and yet we still have barely scratched the surface. I think that as we progress as people, we come to the understanding that we don't understand. Yeah. We come to the understanding that we don't know. Is that fair? And that we get... It's like, you know, if, oh, if I could go back and see the 17 and know everything. Well, also, yeah, no, thank you. Maybe in another body, another time, just for the pure joy of it. But, um, you know, 17 was really good when I was 17, and I'll pass on that one now. But we, you know, when we knew everything, 17 when we knew everything, and then as life unfolds, we realize how little we do know. And that is part of the joy of it for me, is that we have this never-ending process of discovery, this never-ending unfolding that my curiosity is constantly piqued by, so I can constantly be driven to do new things, yeah? Um, within this context of understanding that we are so incredibly, we are a very small aspect of our infinite nature, and the even more infinite nature of everything. <laughs> uh, that at the same time is this understanding of our ultimate sovereignty and our powerfulness, right? And this appreciation that, you know, it's like we love the monkey brain. Monkey, monkey, give the monkey bananas because we love it very much. And it's very easy for our monkey brains to see things and get very, you know, and want to understand them, want to control them and put them in a context of our own understanding, which can also be viewed as putting them in a box. And you know how I feel about smashing boxes. And if you don't, let me introduce you. Smash all the boxes, especially your own. So leaving that there because there's no subtext there at all. So, <laughs> So, smashing the boxes, what a joy. And it doesn't have to be a violent thing. Against what I love about, like, you know, the pictures of, like, how cats of every size, they not only love to find containers, are they liquid? It's a good question. They not only love to find containers with which to squeeze themselves into, to experience new shapes and forms, they also have a tendency to get into the smallest, most like, comfortably tight-fitting space they can, like a box, and expand it with their own interest and understanding, yes? They are going to reshape the box. They're going to smash the box in ways for their own comfort and joy of their own experience. And so let's take 
this little collection of moments there, shall we? And as the full moon rises today, let us breathe in the joy of appreciation that we are, we are the observer. And in observing both the sublime development and the incredible potential of the world, and observing without engaging those things that are in the process of healing and transforming, that we are the observer, this is the observer effect, this is the shift in process. And adding to that, this understanding that this is the, the shift can be comfortable for us that we can reshape the boxes of our own understanding. Again, it's that lack of control. Willingness to observe and experience the box and make ourselves fucking comfortable. And this is a huge aspect of the discernment of this last um, many weeks of process and transformation. In my own personal experience, I know I haven't been sharing as much recently. There's been many wonderful reasons for that, which I will reveal more over time. So, ah, it's Laurie and Rowan, surfing blue Savaya, breathing in the fullness of the moon, in the trust and context that I am actually an infinite being experiencing a very human expression experience and that simultaneously observing and holding in compassion the challenges in the world while focusing on the positive and adding to the joy adding to the beauty adding to life feeding life as much as possible trusting in the power and the process of observation itself, embracing and laughing as much as possible. Let us wax our surfboards with the joy of paradox, the joy of the observer effect, the trust that this is all happening and that we're creating it as much as we are riding on it and through it. So, box your surfboards with trust and understanding, with embracing these larger concepts. And thank you for joining me. Meow. Hugs. I love you and I'm with you. And I know that you're with me because I can see you. I can 